They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. A lot of the people I was working on were asking me about working out. I did it for fun, so I became a certified personal trainer. Loved that. Did that for 25 years, massage for 18. And while I was doing that, I got diagnosed with uh, stage three testicular cancer. So cancer hits me. I'm in great shape. The crazy thing was I asked a friend of mine who was a urologist, hey, can you check this out? He goes, I think you just made it hurt yourself working out. Don't worry about it. So right. a year later, we go in for routine surgery. He's like, they had to stop in the middle of the surgery. The entire staff left the operating room to collect themselves because they had no idea what they were going to run into. And they personally knew me. So he comes back out after the surgery is done and says, hey, man, you had cancer. I'm like, shit happens. He's like, did you actually hear me? I'm like, yeah, what do you want me to do about it? Yeah. What do we do now? He's like, I think we got it all. You're fine. I got Larry Einhorn as my doctor from the University of Indiana. That was Lance Armstrong's doctor. The craziest thing was I was reading Lance Armstrong's book two weeks before I got diagnosed. Huh. So I go through, get diagnosed. I'm stage three C, almost stage four cancer. They create a protocol. I lose 45 pounds, go through chemo for 45 or for four, four months. At the same time, I'm doing alternative medicine with chemotherapy. They're like, you can't do that. I'm like, why not? They told me my diet didn't matter. I'm like, yeah, it does. When I was in infusion where they give you all the chemotherapy drugs, everyone's like, why do you have so many doctors? I'm like, I don't. Those are actually my clients. They're like, what? I said, man, you don't realize how stressed out people are generally when it comes to the medicine they're dealing with, the amount of people that are you know, injured and around them, they take on all their emotional stress. So when all that was said and done, they came back to me. They're like, something's up. You don't have any scar tissue. I'm like, what do you mean I don't have any scar tissue? They're like, you're supposed to have scar tissue. You don't have any. What did you do? So I actually changed the protocol for that particular cancer at that hospital, which was great. So fast forward, I meet my wife now. We're dating. My mom says to her, says to me, did you tell her you can't have children because chemotherapy makes you sterile? I'm like, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get married and we make a decision. Let's try to see what we can do to have a child. They didn't have a particular protocol. Now, I was also on testosterone because having testicular cancer, your testosterone is lower. We'll get back to that, how that works. Right. I had to create a protocol because my energy level was so low coming off this testosterone, I couldn't keep myself up. Coffee was tearing my stomach up. So I went in and started looking at what are the alternatives. Well, I found a couple articles on Adderall and how it worked. Go to the primary care physician. She's like, I can't prescribe that. I'm like, but the five-year-old and the 10-year-old kid you have it on, it's okay. Yeah, all She's kids, like, you know how many kids on Adderall? How many students on Adderall? Yeah. College, Adderall was flying around and like they, they were Tic Tacs. So I had to go to a psychiatrist to get Adderall. So I write up huh. how I'm going to do this. I walk into her office. She goes, what, you're here, what are you here for? I said, here's the protocol. She's like, wow, you've done a lot of research. This is interesting. I'm like, yeah. So she's like, you have to come once a month. We have to have a conversation. I'm like, okay, I would go in there. We'd talk about her husband. It was hilarious. I had no reason to go there except to get a prescription filled. Went through the protocol, took a bunch of supplements again. My wife, we find out she gets pregnant. We took five pregnancy tests because we're like, really? This worked that quick. I call my parents up to let them know, hey, you're going to be a grandparent. They're like, did you get a new puppy? Like, seriously? No, really? Then my grandfather goes, you sure it's not your roommates? I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, God. Me? Oh, God. But, honestly, you know, honestly, Sean, my parents would do the exact same thing. Like, oh, my, my whole family <laughs> would do literally the exact same thing. So I guess that's just, that's a full-blown miracle. It has to be some sort of miracle. Oh, yeah, it is. And, and again, my daughter is 11 years old now, completely, amazingly healthy, greatest kid in the world. And it's funny how I say this because some people take it wrong, but because of the protocol and the supplements I took and the mindset work I was doing, I helped five other women who tried to do the in vitro, the other things. They did the protocol I put them on. They all got pregnant. Because mm -hmm. as we know, if something's stressed out in the wild, it won't allow itself to get pregnant because the hormones are imbalanced. It's the same thing yeah. as a human. You have to be in the right environment to make everything in your body work correctly.